Did you feel like you deserve to be undisputed champion tonight? I don't want to talk about this. All people see what happened today. We talked about the size. We talked about the age. What was it about tonight that made you look the way you did? What fueled your fire? Look, I, I think I show I can be in the boxing. Now I'm in a good shape. And see you next time. Do you feel that your dream of being undisputed was stolen from you last night? Look, I can't talk about this right now, you know. It's just it's not a comfortable moment for me. And uh, thank you for all people who come. What, how good is Devin Haney? You've been in against the best. How good is Devin Haney? Everything, everything was in the, in the rules. Everything was good. It was clean. But in terms of his skill, his jab, his length, what did you think of Devin Haney, the boxer, tonight? Look, before, before I think he will be better, but <laughs> right now, oh. he's, he's a tough fighter, he's a good fighter, but he's not pound for pound fighter. Oh. And finally, the future for you, 135 where you are smaller, or 130, what is next for you? Because you are one of the dominant 130 pounders ever. Right now, I wanted to come back home, support my country, support my Ukrainian Orthodox Church. Thank you very much, Vasily. What's going on, people? Shimano YB back once again. So, we just heard some bars there from Loma. Loma has also said in a pre post fight press conference that I think he said Tiafimo and someone else, maybe Ortiz, I'm not sure, whoever, but he said Tiafimo was a harder fight and has more skills than Devin. Now, is it a case he's just salty? Well, he lost his belts to me. All due respect, he lost his belts against Tio. So, it's not like he beat Tio. If 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 Lomo was going to be salty at anyone, he'd be salty at Tio for taking his belts. I believe the reason Loma's salty is he knows he kind of lost that Tio fight for whatever reason. I think he was injured, truth be known. But anyway, regardless, I think he feels or he knows. He won this fight. And that's why he feels this way. And I have to agree. Listen. I mean. I don't score fights. Like most people score fights. I don't do the whole round by round thing. I think it's corny. There's little subtleties in the game. That I pick up on. For example. After the fight. Yeah. Devin Haney says. Yeah Loma's really good. And yeah. All due respect to him. Now fair play. Maybe Haney is just being. Kind of humble. But. It, it looked to me as if Haney was happy to get the W or felt lucky to get the W. And not just that, I mentioned in my last video, Haney himself said, oh, I can't get out of the way of the left hand. What do I do, Dad? I didn't hear any of the same stuff from Loma. So in terms of the spirit, Devin Haney wasn't saying acting like he won the fight in that sense. Yeah, Loma was he's good, but he's easy work. Who next? Haney's body language and actions during the fight towards the end, in the corner towards the end, and after the fight, was almost someone who just want to be out there. He wanted he, he didn't really want to be there. He gratefully nicked the belts, or he kept the belts, but he knew what time it was. Because if Devin Haney had a thought it was easy work. Bear in mind how the fight, how Devin Haney was before the fight too. Devin Haney had all this energy before the fight. Where was that after the fight? Nowhere. Now you can say, well, but they've made up because they've had a fight. Listen, if they've made up because they've had a fight, why is Loma still on it for? You understand? Because Loma thinks he's been done, he's been wronged. And Devin Haney didn't really put up no resistance. Like I said, Devin Haney could have been out and saying, listen, man, Loma, that was light work. I was in gear one. He didn't say that. Oh, Loma's the best ever. And in fact, you know what? Let me get it up. Because I bet people don't believe me. But let's listen to the difference. Contrast. Loma's saying this guy ain't pound for pound. And instead, Devin Haney be doing the other thing. Gentlemen here inside the... M Man, Lomachenko is a is a future. He's, he's a future Hall of Famer. It was a it was a, it was a blessing. But first up, I want to say Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for this victory tonight. 
I want to just want to thank Allah. Translation, thank you for the judges, 100%. For this, because what I'm not none of this is possible. Like I said, I got to take my head off to Loma. He's a future Hall of Famer. He's my toughest opponent by far. He's very crafty, and uh, we put on a great, a great fight. See? He's my toughest po opponent so far now. That doesn't say too much because Devin really fought bums, but not his fault, but he, he fought bums. <laughs> we can sit here and say whether it's fault or not, he fought bums. So, <laughs> see the difference here. Loma wasn't saying, yeah, it was my hardest fight. Yeah, it's the best fight I've fought, but I still think I won. He was saying, this guy's not pound for pound. I expected more. Just look at the difference. It doesn't, it, it doesn't really add up. And Devin's, it's... You have to be very crafty to lie about how you feel. Devin's telling us how he feels. This was a fight of his life and it looked like it as well. I've never seen Devin Haney look panicked in the corner before. He looked panicked. I've never seen him out of ideas. He was out of ideas. And gassing. What was it about Loma that gave you trouble, especially in those middle to late rounds? Say it again. What was it about Loma that gave you trouble in those middle to late rounds? Oh, I mean, he's he, he's a crafty fighter. I mean, he turns it up in the championship rounds, and uh, he's he's. He, I just Come gotta on. take my hat off. He's he, he's a, he's a great fighter. Now you could say, "Oh, Devin is humble." Come on now, people, man. Come on now. This ain't humbleness. This is. I got touched, and I'm grateful to Nick the win. In a way, it reminds me to some extent of when Andre Ward won the first Kovalev fight. Kind of, it, it, Ward was like, "Yeah, I couldn't believe his luck." <laughs> you know, one of them ones. He couldn't believe it. So, and all due respect to Ward, he came back and handled his business. And that's what I've been saying. Haney need to come back and handle the business. I believe. If he's a real one. He need to come back and handle Loma again, if he can. Now I think the fight's... I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Truth be known, I thought Devin was going to wash dude. But the rematch need to happen. Tank ain't going to fight no one. Then again, this, is, this could be good for boxing. Because maybe Tank sees this and thinks that Devin's sweet. Do you understand? So this could actually play well. But regardless, as far as this fight goes, what Devin Haney's saying here, he keeps saying he's an all-time great, he's a Hall of Famer, he's a tricky fighter, and particularly, he turns it up in the latter rounds. Those comments, why would he be feeling like that? Why would he say that? Oh, he turns it up in the late rounds. Because Devin Haney knew he was losing the late rounds. Yeah? You didn't hear Devin Haney talk about George Cambosas. Oh, he turned it up in the late rounds. Because he was comfortable. You didn't hear Devin Haney, he a future Hall of Famer, or whatever else about Cambosas. No. So why is that? Devin, Lomachenko had Devin Haney feeling like, Loma, oh sorry, Lomachenko was touching Devin Haney in such a fashion, he had him feeling like, damn, I'm in here with a great right now. Yeah, Loma was giving him great pause. That's what the bottom line. Loma, from, Lomachenko hit, was hitting Devin Haney in such a fashion, he gave him the Hall of Fame hitting. The Hall of Fame whooping. The Hall of Fame pause. Bottom line. Yeah? Lomachenko was giving Devin Haney them Hall of Fame pause. Not from my mouth. Out of Devin Haney's mouth. Devin Haney just said, Damn, Loma give me the Hall of Fame pause. Yeah? You don't get Hall of Fame pause unless you've been touched. Unless you feel violated. Everyone talked about the size. Everyone talked about the age. But at the end of the day, what mattered was getting to 30 wins. What do you take away from this victory? Oh man, it's all experience. You know, me and my team, we gonna go back to the house, watch the fight, and uh, reflect on it. You know, um, I've been at 135 for a long, long time. This is my 30th fight. I've been here. I've been here at 135 since I was 16 years old. So you know, we gonna go back to, to you know, to back to the lab and uh, figure out what's next. We've been talking about this may be the last fight at 135. It seems like forever. What was it about tonight that makes you think this may be it? Oh man, you know it's, it's it's always been tough for me to for me to make the weight, and you know I accomplished everything at 135. I just beat a future Hall of Famer. This is my eighth title defense, so we just got to see. But it's a lot of it's it's a lot of great fighters still in 135 pound division, so we'll see. If, if if it makes sense, then we'll be at 135. What fights make sense for you at 135? Uh, we just gotta see. We gotta go back to my, uh, go back to the drawing board. We got fighters like Shakur. We got fighters like Javante, uh, and, and and the list goes on and on. Tonight, you remain undisputed. What is this? Anyway, I'm not sure what else to be said here, people. There's more videos coming later in the week or over the next few days. But yeah, in a way, I wish that Loma had mentioned immediately after the fight. I want a rematch. Make it get out of there publicly now. I want the rematch. I was on your neck. That way there's nowhere to run. Devin Haney talk about Tank and 
Shakur. Listen, they're good. To be fair to Devin, if he fights Tank or Shakur next, fair play to him. Because that they're better fights than the Loma fight, I think. I think Tank and Shakur would deal with Loma. Again, though, they're great fights. We need to see them. How about that? Loma been on Tank's neck. But anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Devin Haney, I mean, 140, I'm telling you now, Pro Grey gonna make a whole snack out of Haney, man. But I'm telling you, Pro Grey different. Pro, out of all the dudes around these days, man, Pro Grey, he really be getting it how he living. He the only guy, really, in them lower weight to... Uh, Shakur as well, with all due respect. But, yeah, Pro Grey, man, he, I think he built different. I think Pro Grey punched Devin Haney up differently, man, at 140. I just do. I think, in fact, I think Pro Grey gonna punch everyone up at 140. He heavy-handed... He with the shits. And he really with him as well. And. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Rolly Romero. I mean Rolly Romero. Stop it. Rolly Romero's got a belt at 140. That's what Devin might be looking for. But. I think Ryan Garcia should slide in there before him. The fanboy. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts people. Smash the like button. Subscribe. And let off the bell 100%.